Good afternoon to all of you. On behalf of the University of Dubuque Board of Trustees, I welcome you to this 130, 163rd annual commencement ceremony. It is a privilege for all of us to share this experience with you. Today's graduation is, is, a, is a celebration of commitment made, honored achievements by our graduates, and the love and support that helped to make it possible from their parents, spouses, children, friends, and UD faculty, staff, and trustees. May you each experience much personal and professional success as you seek to contribute to our global society and follow God's path for your life. College faculty and staff, graduates, alums, and distinguished guests, it's a privilege for me to officially welcome all of you to this commencement service. On this day, the hopes and dreams of you, our graduates, and your families and friends and all of those who love you come to their fullest realizations. Sacrifices have been made, discipline has been gained, knowledge attained, and commitment has been rewarded. Today, we, the community known as the University of Dubuque, will recognize our graduates, and we will offer our prayers for your future success. We will embrace and celebrate university traditions with joy and with thanksgiving, but also with a bit of sorrow. For on this day, some things change. Some relationships may end while others are just beginning. The familiar is replaced by the unknown, former challenges are overcome, and new opportunities begin, not only in the lives of you, our graduates, and their families, but also in the life of this, your university. Yet because that this is the day which the Lord has made, we will all together rejoice and be glad in it. Congratulations. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have created us, each one of us, and all of creation remains radically dependent upon you. Merciful Lord, you have redeemed us, us who are broken vessels, jars of clay, molded by you, for we contain treasures. Holy Spirit, continue to breathe on us and give us life to the fullest. As we give thanks for all that has been accomplished by these graduates, I ask that you would bless them with knowledge and wisdom, and above all else, that they would know you and trust that you are Emmanuel, God with us. By your grace, may what we do this day and every day be to your glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, all who are able, I invite you to stand as we sing, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee.
Good afternoon to all of you. On behalf of the University of Dubuque Board of Trustees, I welcome you to this 130, 163rd annual commencement ceremony. It is a privilege for all of us to share this experience with you. Today's graduation is, is, a, is a celebration of commitment made, honored achievements by our graduates, and the love and support that helped to make it possible from their parents, spouses, children, friends, and UD faculty, staff, and trustees. May you each experience much personal and professional success as you seek to contribute to our global society and follow God's path for your life. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of the University of Dubuque, we wish God's blessings on you, our 215, 2015 graduates. Congratulations. Today's commencement address will be given by Marianne Neffel, who really, as most of you know, needs no introduction. As our graduates are well aware, Marianne is the university librarian for the Charles C. Myers Library here at the University of Dubuque. She's celebrating this year her 35th year at the University of Dubuque, having We had a special kindergarten internship program. Uh, 35 years of, of enormous commitment, uh, self-sacrifice, and is really one of the few people that, that really is the authority on the history of this university over the last four decades. She previously held the positions of assistant library director and reference librarian, but importantly, many of you also have witnessed her and known her through one of her unique entrepreneurial roles on campus as director of the annual UD flash mob on the quad faculty troupe. So maybe she'll do a rendition of Gangnam style. <laughs> you never know with Marianne. Ms. Neffel holds a Master in Library Science degree from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, an MBA degree from the University of Dubuque, and a Bachelor of Arts in History and English from Knox College in Galesburg, Illinois. In addition to the Myers Library, she's held positions at the University of Illinois Library of the Health Sciences, Rockford Branch Carnegie Stout Library in Dubuque, Biology Library at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign, and the Seymour Library at Knox College. Marianna is married to Don, and they have uh, two children, John and Molly. And it is an enormous honor for all of us uh, to be able to affirm Marianne's uh, commitment to this university, her gifts in service to students, to faculty and staff, and to all of us. Will you please join me in welcoming our 215th commencement speaker, Marianne Neffel. Thank you, President Bullock, Dean Ward, Board Chair Calapity, and the Board of Trustees for inviting me to speak today. Congratulations to the class of 2015, and welcome to all who are celebrating with you today. This ceremony is quite different from the experience of the first UD graduates. The class of 1856 consisted of two brothers, Andreas and Jacob Kolb, who were educated in the home of Adrian Van Vliet to become ministers. I don't think that they held a graduation service. Or if they did, it must have been very short, and their parents had no problem finding their kids after the ceremony. We aren't sure when the first formal UD graduation ceremony occurred, 
but according to our archivist, we've been holding this event in some form since 1894. And here we are in 2015, and I'm looking at you now and remembering my own graduation. What was I thinking then? I recall being incredibly busy until the day and sort of numb during the ceremony. Afterwards, driving from campus, it was as if my identity was dissolving. It seemed that my vocation to be a student had ended with nothing to take its place. I see now that wasn't true. I was on the way to discovering my vocation, but I didn't know it at the time. One thing I was sure of, though, even then, my college experience transformed me and still informs every part of my life. So I wondered, do you graduates feel as I did? What do you think of your experience at UD? I asked a number of you and would like to share a few of your thoughts. First is Nicole Fine, soon to receive her Bachelor of Science in Nursing, whose hometown is Benicia, California. Hello, Nicole, wherever you are. She's out there, there she is. Hey, Nicole. <laughs> she says, it feels right. It feels like a new chapter should feel, exciting and terrifying. The unknown is the most strenuous and the most beautiful part of the human experience. In it, you find opportunities that you would never have thought possible, and you find that who you are is like no one you thought you'd be. I'm eager to meet the person that I'm going to become. Denitra Mutalici, an elementary education major from Bal Nagada, Sri Lanka, said, I feel so special today. Since I'm the oldest in the family, this is the first graduation for my mom and dad. So they are as excited as I am. As an international student, I'm looking forward to going back to my country to be with my family. But I must say thank you to UD. I love being here. From the first day to now, I never ever felt that I was an outsider. I felt as if this is my family. I was a very quiet and shy person when I came here. Now I see that I've changed a lot as a teacher and as a person in a positive way. I simply love the experience here at the University of Dubuque. Thank you, Denithra, wherever you are. Hi, Denithra. <laughs> so I asked a few alums to reflect on their graduation day. And what do they think of their UD experience now that they've been out 5, 10, even 20 years? Mike Farr, class of 2009, an English major from Le Sur, Minnesota, told me, graduation day was a bit of a blur for me. I was just rolling out of finals, and my family and friends were coming into town, which brought its own stresses. You have this moment, which is the culmination of years of work, and now it's here. Frankly, it was a bit of a shock. I remember being at the ceremony and reflecting on the last four years, a lot of great moments and some being very difficult. I remember being herded through the quad and into Calapity. I was able to spot my family as I walked in. Of course, mom and grandma were crying. Mike continued, graduation for me presented a lot of conflicting emotions. On one hand, I was sad to be closing an incredible chapter of my life, but excited and scared to be welcoming what was coming next. Mike is now the political coordinator for the Service Employees International Union in Nevada. Terry Smith, also from the class of 2009, a business administration major from Fort Pierce, Florida, remembered, the turning point in my life happened at the University of Dubuque. When I left the university as a senior, so much had changed. Freshman year, my goals were playing football, chasing girls, and partying. Now, this has changed quite a bit with this, these folks, but that was back then. That was a long time ago, parents. That's not your kid. <laughs> By the time I was a senior, I had a good job waiting for me, a clear understanding of grown-up responsibilities, and a strong understanding of what it takes to be successful. Terry said, me, I started at the University of Dubuque at a time when I was young and dumb. But UD helped make me a better person and shaped my worldview. 
Terry is now based in California as hybrid territory representative for CERTA International. Ben Carbajal, English and psychology major from Comanche, Iowa in class of 2011 told me this. I can vividly recall my experience at graduation. I was the first in my family to graduate from a four-year program. Our commencement speaker, who was chairperson of the board, Joe Calapity, told us that our generation had a lot of stuff to do if we were going to live in a habitable society. I scoffed at the time. How can someone from a town of 4,500 people amount to anything? How could I affect the world in a positive way? Yet, I had the desire to try. Ben goes on, sitting at graduation, I had no idea what I would do with my life. I hated my graduation because I felt overwhelmed about what was to come. Those that are graduating today might understand that paralyzing feeling of, what do I do next? Today is a horrifically exciting moment in a young person's transition into responsibility, and my advice is to be patient, remain hopeful, and never doubt your ability to succeed. If you can manage that, you can better your situation, and that means helping to better those around you. Ben now has a master's degree in public administration and works as a budget analyst in Fairfax County, Maryland. Now I'd like to turn to a few students who talk more about their experience at UD as a whole. Miriam Wabi, MBA class of 2004, said, my journey at UD started as a graduate student in the MBA program. I am from Rabat, Morocco. International students have what is called an alien resident status. At UD, this status did not mark me as alien, it became more of a mark of my uniqueness. My grades, once meaningless letters at the end of a semester, were transformed into representations that I was finding my voice, one that was based on confidence and knowledge. Miriam continued, I could never express why my experience at UD was so different from my undergraduate experience. It could be the fact that when you walk on campus on any given day and you see the president of the university chit-chatting with students, it is a comforting scene that you don't often see at other colleges or universities. So somehow, UD became my second home 7,000 miles away from home. I felt that I paid for a degree, but walked out with the wealth of memories, friendships, and applicable knowledge. The same knowledge that is helping me succeed in my professional life and enjoy the social life I lead today, 11 years after my graduation. The same friendships and memories that made me move back from Chicago to Dubuque to live in the city that is now my home and home to my children and family. Miriam is now a credit analyst at Heartland Financial here in Dubuque. Angela Nelson from Lake Geneva, Wisconsin and class of 1996 majored in history. Her perspective from 19 years ago is this. My time at UD was some of the best years of my life. I was a shy and scared teenager all through high school. I did not have any confidence and felt certain I should just join my father working in the factory. Though through the great faculty and staff at UD, I grew to feel confident in myself and in my ability to learn and grow. Because of the fostering of Dr. Sharno and Dr. Lindsay, I came to believe that I could strive for so much more in my life. I literally could be anything I wanted to be. It was through their encouragement and the great people of UD I knew that I could pursue my dream of higher education and then go to law school. UD provided a great education and also a place that fostered and nurtured me to allow me to grow into the woman I am today both professionally and, prof and personally. I sincerely owe a debt of gratitude to UD and everyone there who touched my life. I would not be who I am or where I am today without the time I spent there. Angela is now an attorney and partner in the law firm of Gislason and Hunter in Minneapolis. Sue Ryder from Dubuque graduated in 1994 with an associate degree in accounting and in 2006 with a Bachelor of Art in English. She said, the decision to go back to school as a non-traditional college student with a family is never an easy one. 
I knew the time and money I invested would impact not only my husband and children, but me, both during my education and later during the anxious time after graduation. I was scared I couldn't do it, but I knew I had to try. Fortunately, I chose UD for my journey. I did not just get a degree. I was made to feel interesting, confident, and powerful along the way. Those things were missing from my life as much as the degree was. When I stumbled into the library looking for a job to help me pay for my books, I knew I had found my niche. UD shaped me and pointed me in the right path. Not only did I get my degree, I'm now on a path to help other students get theirs. Thanks to UD and the unconditional support of my husband and children, I got not only a diploma, I found my real calling and I'm thankful every day. Sue is now the cataloging and interlibrary loan assistant at the Charles C. Myers Library here at UD. Finally, I hold up the thoughts of Maria Calvo from Lima, Peru, class of 1993, who majored in political science and international studies. She said, I will tell you what I wish someone would have told me when I graduated, to always find a way to go back to my 21-year-old self. With time, it's easy to forget how passionate we were when we graduated. Age can turn us into cynics, pessimists, even indifferent and complacent. Back then, we thought we could change the world, make a difference, have an impact. Today, I'm learning that growing old doesn't mean I have to give up on the things I was passionate about when I left UD. It just means I have to adjust and refocus my passions to fit my reality. At 40, I realize I'm not going to change the world, achieve world peace, or end racism. However, that doesn't mean I can't make a difference in one person's life, in my community, and in my children's school. At my core, I'm still that 21-year-old, idealistic, passionate woman who left UD full of dreams. What I need to do more is reach out to that 21-year-old Maria and listen to her. Maria now lives in Chicago and is in the publishing industry. Like Mike Farr, you may be sad to close this incredible chapter of your life, but excited and scared to welcome what's coming next. Like Angela Nelson, UD has certainly helped you strive for more in your life than you thought possible. Like Miriam Wabi, your education has helped you find your voice. Like Sue Ryder, your education should make you feel confident and powerful. And I hope, like Maria Calvo, that you are leaving UD full of dreams and ready to make a difference in your community because your education is an imperative to make the world a better place. Class of 2015, we are part of each other's lives and always will be. My wish is that you will find a way to hold in your hearts forever this remarkable experience, your graduation day, as well as the experience of your life, of our lives at UD. And as you cross this stage to receive your diploma and later walk down this aisle, Remember Ben Carbajal's advice, be patient, remain hopeful, and never doubt your ability to succeed. And as you better your situation, don't forget to better those around you. Congratulations. As Nicole Fine said, you are going out to meet the person that you are going to become. Thank you. Today we recognize the academic accomplishment of 515 University of Dubuque graduates. Many of these individuals have achieved special academic distinction during their careers at UD, and these distinctions will be announced when the graduate receives his or her diploma. There are three levels of distinction based on grade point average. Cum laude, or with honors, for those who achieved a GPA of 3.5 or above magna cum laude, or with high honors, for those who achieved a GPA of 3.75 or above, 
and summa cum laude, or with highest honors, for those who achieved a grade point average of 3.9 or above. In addition, several of today's graduates have been recognized nationally for their academic achievements. These include those who have been inducted into the university's chapter of the Alpha Chi National Honor Society, and those who have been inducted into honor societies related to their major area of study. These achievements are marked by the medals or honor cords worn by the graduates. President Bullock, on behalf of the faculty of the University of Dubuque, I am pleased to present the graduating class of 2015. Candidates, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you, with all of its rights and privileges, the respective degree of Associate of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing. As President and on behalf of the Board and faculty, I offer you every good wish for your success. And at this time, I invite you as a group to move your tassel from the right to the left. Now I know that this is an important moment for everyone, and because it is a time for everyone, I ask family and friends of our graduates to be, please be timely with your applause so that each graduate's name can clearly be heard when read by Dean Miyamoto. Thank you. Zachary, Zachary T. Ahrens, summa cum laude. Ryan K. Armstrong. Ranita A. Anderson. John William Bamberg. Gwen S. Beatty. Emily Brim. <laughs> Timothy W. Siskowski. Nicole J. Cruz. <laughs> Carrie Darlene, magna cum laude. Caitlin Daniels. Second Lieutenant Christian De La Torre. Nicholas Allen Dolson. Tiffany Ozell Duncan. Brandon Ferguson. Christopher Michael Ganson, cum laude. Chelsea Hawkins, cum laude. Edward, Edgardo M. Hernandez Rubiro. Paige Lorraine Hilby. Austin J. Healy, magna cum laude. Eric Joseph Merfeld. Ryan Hawking. 
Kyle J. Huseman. Taylor Allen Isham. Mark Johnson. Lee R. Jones. Damian Albert Dressick. Caleb Scott Kasner. Jordan Robert Kinsel, magna cum laude. Megan Marie Klinkhammer, cum laude. Daniel Joseph Kunkel. Jenna Colette Kodas. Howard Earl Lee III. Antoine Lindsay. Adam R. Lorenz. Allison E. McCullough, summa cum laude. Caitlin Ann Mason Main. Lily Michelle McKinley, magna cum laude. Patrick Maher. Mukhtar Mukhtar. Lori Morris Kirkpatrick, magna cum laude. Michael Leo Murphy. Matthew Stephen Lavelle. Daniel E. Orendorf, summa cum laude. Michelle M. Osterhaus. Rachel Ann Perkowitz, magna cum laude. Andrew J. Ponser. Jorge G. Pena. Marisa Ivaliz Radiz. Ruiz. Eric J. Powell Adair. Jonathan Michael Purvis, cum laude. Shade Latrice Pointer, cum laude. Stephen Ryan. Joshua R. Ryan. Jamise May Ann Saunders. Ashley J. Schleter, cum laude. Margaret Taylor Schmidt. Nicholas P. Schrader. Christopher M. Scott, cum laude. Sandra Glenn Shaw, summa cum laude. Kayla Springer. Carmen Elizabeth Turnbull. Rick Valsine.
Julie Ann Turner. Jordan David Waddick, magna cum laude. Sydney G. Vasquez. LaPonce Wade. Tyler M. Ware. Tyler Matthew Weiss. Morgan Workheiser, cum laude. Vincent C. Whipple. Samuel J. White, cum laude. Sam Baldwin. Rachel Lynn Baumover. Joshua Beckley, magna cum laude. Cassandra Jean Berger, magna cum laude. <laughs> Becky Burntgen, magna cum laude. Michael A. Borland. Hunter Patrick Brown, summa cum laude. Anne Josephine Bruce, magna cum laude. Javon Bush. Tanya Caldwell, summa cum laude. Sean J. Chapman. Carson Crominga. Brittany Nakia Collier. Alicia A. Connolly, cum laude. Sandra Marie Griffin Collins, magna cum laude. Conchetta Simone Dimming. <laughs> Melissa Feliz. <laughs> Ryan Kyle Gingrich. Kyle Gert. Jessica Lynn Getz. Nicola N. Gaspanov, magna cum laude. Kelsey Grace Grafin. Peter Jeffrey Hager, cum laude. Crystal A. Handfelt, cum laude. Jonathan Hazelwander, summa cum laude. Darren W. Heimbach, cum laude. Tanner M. Heinrichsy, magna cum laude. Ashley Lauren Holt. Christine Eim. Nicole L. Imbus, cum laude. Corinne Mary Therese Kasner. Oh, 
Tabitha C. Knup, magna cum laude. Yasmin Porsik. Joseph S. Kubica the Fourth, Garrett Loss, Julia Lenth, cum laude, Sarah Lucas, magna cum laude. Carly Lynn Litzelschwab. Samuel McCready, magna cum laude. Nicolette McKenzie, cum laude. Paige Elise Mellon, magna cum laude. Ashley Nicole Moore. Michael James Mullert. Lucas John Oster, magna cum laude. Second Lieutenant Angelina Marie Pedretti, cum laude. Second Lieutenant Ryan Andrew Reagan. Amanda Marie Renfro, cum laude. Susan Marita Reynolds, magna cum laude. Sergio Reynoso. Michael William Reardon. Alicia Marie Robinson. Caitlin Marie Rosnick. Sergei Sar. Jared Smith. Stephen Schroman. Shauna Lynn Schmidt, summa cum laude. Cody J. Ship. Joshua P. Schuberg. Sean G. Sharkey, cum laude. Valerie Lynn Sprank. Emily S. Stecker. Mallory Elizabeth Steffen. Joshua J. Taylor. Travis Tim, cum laude. Carrie Caitlin Timmons. Brian Patrick Travis. Andrew James Triantos, magna cum laude. Cody James Udelhofen. Jeremy Ware. Edward J. Webster III. Kurt P. Wieland, cum laude. 
Patrick White, magna cum laude. Trey Benjamin Arnrich. Dylan Heinrich Bain. Stephanie White, magna cum laude. Eric Lynn Wilson. Owen William Woodland, summa cum laude. Second Lieutenant John August Aber, cum laude. Saud Mubarak al -Asari. Fahad Said Altmaktari. Sydney Ann Altoff, cum laude. Victor Hugo Ariano. Aaron John Badisam. Catherine A. Behrens. Jordan M. Baskerville. Spencer Biting. Nicole Beckett. Christopher L. Bird. Bradley T. Blockinger. Darren Palmer Bowl. Jeremy N. Bradford Sr., magna cum laude. Rachel May Bujan. <laughs> Judith M. Bora. <laughs> Michael T. Butterfield. <laughs> Tyler Scott Dobratz, cum laude. Vanessa Lynn Carlson, cum laude. David A. Caesar. Eric Josiah Siwi, magna cum laude. Elise Chalice, summa cum laude. Ryan S. Cleary, magna cum laude. Tanner Cook. Michael David Cornelius. Nathaniel Daniel Christian. Nathan Daniel Christian. Catherine M. Dean, summa cum laude. Andrew Thomas DeHart, cum laude. Aaron Christine Dickman, summa cum laude. Stephen Coleman Doss, cum laude. Luis Israel Duran. <laughs> Jacob Levi Edgington. <laughs> Kevin J. Edwards.
Dustin T. Ellsburn. Sarah Amanda Ergiven. David Espinoza. Nicholas Everhart. Aaron Scott Foster. Michelle Lynn Finnegan, magna cum laude. Victoria Elizabeth Foraker, cum laude. Connor Michael Fox. Cody Frankfurt, cum laude. Elizabeth Frazier, cum laude. Christy Freiburg. Dewan A. Fuller. Mitchell T. Goff, magna cum laude. Michael Angelo Granados. Shandeep Singh Graywall. Nakia A. Greyer. Ryan Gross, magna cum laude. Carly A. Grunder, cum laude. Ethan W. Hall. Colton J. Hainig, cum laude. Ian Michael Hartstack, cum laude, summa cum laude. Gage Hefferman. Alan D. Herman, cum laude. Lucas M. Heyer, magna cum laude. Samantha Holen, summa cum laude. Connor J. Hurt. Second Lieutenant Kylie Ann Crambeer. Caitlin Nicole Herbig. Brittany Noel Hohensey, summa cum laude. Daniel J. Howell. Andrea Hughes, cum laude. Brooke Mary Huseman. <laughs> Melissa M. Huseman, cum laude. <laughs> Tyler James Hutchinson. Audra J. Eisenhart. Rebecca L. Jacobs, cum laude. Alexander R. Jameson. Tyler John Jenkins. Jacob Daryl Jepson. 
Stephen Kegerman. Elena Janelle Callas. Nicholas Ryan Ketchum. Andrea S. Pierce Keitlinger. Tiffany Ann Cress, summa cum laude. Adriana Johnson. Adriana Johnson. Jared Sullivan Kuban. Alexandria Worthington Lordson Cum Laude. Alec Michael Lightham. Kyle Lightham. Stephanie Ann Locasto, summa cum laude. Taylor Lopez. Melissa Marie Moss, summa cum laude. Tahir Mahmoudov, cum laude. Lauren Katrin Mahoon. Freedom Faye Malik, summa cum laude. Lisbeth O. Meyer Monhart. Kelsey McCrate, summa cum laude. James I. McHugh. Austin John Monfres. Second Lieutenant Christopher James Morton, cum laude. Michael E. Moriarty, magna cum laude. Brenda Nava, summa cum laude. Denithra Sewandi Mudalije. Jake Dixon Naylor. Craig Anthony Nelson, magna cum laude. Eric Thomas Nye, magna cum laude. Molly O'Brien, magna cum laude. Cody A. Ortman, summa cum laude. Nathan Andrew Pankey. Kayla Marie Parcell. Decker W. Fobb. Zachary J. Pickle, magna cum laude. Albert Lawrence Prieslack. Melanie N. Prudhomme, magna cum laude. Sharif Ahmed Rahim, cum laude. Dylan Thomas Radigan, cum laude. Mackenzie Joe Reed. 
Anthony J. Reesberg, summa cum laude. Michelle P. Rowling. Tyler Roddinghaus. Marissa Jean Rudenbeck. Ashley Jo Sotowasser. Second Lieutenant Matthew Sadler. Gavin Edward Samuelson, cum laude. Logan Ridge Olson Sanders. Melissa Kathleen Sawyer, magna cum laude. Dylan A. Schneely. Travis Schrobilgen, magna cum laude. Sheila Marie Harvey Schutte, summa cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth Schutte, magna cum laude. Kelly Celine Edlin, summa cum laude. Samantha Surd. Jaden Christopher Shatek, cum laude. Donna Tawana Shorkey. Caitlin M. Simbeck, magna cum laude. Jenna Lynn Skopek. Lauren Taylor Smith, summa cum laude. Michael S. Sharp. Jack Joseph Stefanski. Adriana Stevens. John W. Sterling II. <laughs> Megan Patricia Strawn, magna cum laude. Nicholas D. Strube. Christopher Joseph Tabor. Trey Scott. Taylor. Robbie J. Tiar, magna cum laude. Tanya S. Thola. Jasmine Lena Thomas. Austin Richard Todd, cum laude. Amy Trannell. Anne Marie Ulrich. Lucas J. Van Norman, magna cum laude. Lauren Waddell, cum laude. <laughs> Melissa Dade Wagner, summa cum laude. <laughs> Ian Michael Waite. <laughs> Keely M. Webb. Veronica L. Wellman.
Jessica Lynn Weatherall, magna cum laude. Adam John Jakic. Rosalind Marie Borman. Natalie Catherine Boysen, cum laude. Molly Christian, magna cum laude. Sean Andrew Clark. Brianna Marie Dobson. Nicole Ashley Fine. Emerald Elizabeth Frommelt. Sarah Marie Freund. Rael Emily Heister. <laughs> Alyssa Eleni Holt, cum laude. Amber Lee Keller. Jennifer Martinez, cum laude. Tori McConnell. Caitlin Rose Ramler. Toya Walter, cum laude. Selena Lynn Wonky. Dana Ann Wallen. Hey Pinyun, cum laude. How about one more hand of applause for our graduates for Bachelor of Degree? Will the candidates for the master's degree please rise? Candidates, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you with all its rights and privileges the respective degree of Master of Arts of Communication and Master of Business Administration. As President and on behalf of the Board and your faculty, I offer you every good wish for your success. I invite you to please come forward when Dean Miyamoto calls your name. James Dye. <laughs> Samantha Etherington.
Kimberly Ann Pope. Lynn Roth. Yaya M. Lugo Ruiz. Abigail Baker. Sherry Ann Baker. <laughs> Kelly Borders. <laughs> Jeng Yu Hao. We Kang Zhang Jody Marie Chapman Rachel Ann Gibson John Dakei Gongalo. Amanda J. Halber. Nan Chen. Yi Chua Chen Tai Ying Chen Jennifer M. Colmer Katie Connor Tammy J. Coyle Aaron DeHeck Nakia Durham Roderick Durham Rachel Marie Ferguson Jose Octavio Garcia Donald L. Hansen Joseph L. Hill
Mona Lisa Belinda Kiba. Michelle Colin. Stephen A. Larson. Michelle Marie Lee. Erica Lassiers. Bo Han. Ming Li. Don't work me. Sing Lee. Zifang Lu. Chuan Chi Lian. Bilka A. Liriano. Chua Lin Leo. Patrick Michael Lockington. Linda Lema. Chao Yun Ma. Pablo Martinez Escobeda. Shelley McNulty. Manuel P. Mendoza. Emily Moon. Kira Mounts. Ryan D. Osterberger. Lee Piccinelli. Lacey Brianna Perkins. Allison Robinson. Kai Ren. Yi Ling Ren. Allison Rose Romick.
Christine Roaring. Crystal Schatzel. Ethan Lee. Matthew J. Stegman. Danielle M. Steinus. Jia Yu Wen. Stephen J. Vasilati. Ryan Waldock. Shuai Wang. Molly Whiting. Sue Wilbur. Wu Zhao Chong. Ku Han Wu. Yu Zhong. <laughs> Duan Chao. Si Wei Shao. Ting Ting Yan. Cha Shen Yu. Master's recipients, congratulations. I invite you all to stand.
Before the benediction, I'd like to remind uh, the graduates and their families that there is a reception in Heritage Center and it's divided up by your various disciplines, so it's an opportunity for the graduates to introduce their parents uh, to their faculty and those who've been important in their lives. I'd also like to remind uh, our audience that uh, one of our traditions is that as we process out, uh, the faculty and all of us will line up outside of Calapity Hall here and we'll uh, show our, uh, we'll applaud uh, our graduates on their achievement. As you've gathered, uh, one of the key themes at the University of Dubuque that is instilled from day one is this sense of vocation, which is the Latin word for service. And uh, my charge to you graduates is that you enter in this world and go out into this world with a sense of enthusiasm uh, that you have all shown and demonstrated while you've been on this campus. You've been a tremendous blessing to all of us. We're proud of you. We wish you Godspeed. And now receive the benediction. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant to you his peace, now and forevermore. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen.